Hi everyone, this is Jason Matthew, the coordinator of the IDDU from the School of Distance Education. And today I just want to show you all some really cool stuff that we have been doing with the design of eLearn. And, you know, just to get your quick feedback. So when you log into the eLearn page, uh, you should see a few th um, support items there. So for instance, if you don't know your USC eLearn password or you want to create an eLearn account, you can click on this link and it will give you the instructions on how to do so to walk you through it. Or if you need to reset your USC email password, you can click on this link. And uh, if you have any questions, um, one of the places that you may find the answer is if you click on this FAQ link. So if you click on this FAQ link, it goes to uh, a page here with, with where we have a, a few questions here and their answers. So you can go through the questions here. So for instance, how do I create a USC eLearn account or reset my USC eLearn password? You just click on it and it gives you uh, an answer and some steps on how to go through that. So we have some resources here. Now, when you want to log in as either as teacher or student, you click on the green button here and then you click, um, you enter your username and password. So for this example here, I'm going to be the student Stanley and I'm going to enter my credentials now. And then you click login. So once you log in, you're going to see the US eLearn homepage that we have designed specifically for you guys. So the first block here will be a kind of like an announcement block. So right now we are giving you all the, uh, uh, you know, a huge welcome because we're really happy to see you all here for this semester. In the second block, we have some resources here. If you click on this, you are going to go to a, a YouTube video that shows you all how to use eLearn. Now, this video is pretty long, and what I did is that I looked at all the common questions that you all have concerning eLearn, and I've tried to answer them. So you could go through the video from beginning to end, or you can just scroll a little bit more, click on show more, and then there is the timestamps for all the specific questions. So for instance, how do I submit my assignments, a common question that I've been asked. So you just click on the timestamp there, and as you can see, it goes to that particular um, question and how to and how to do it all right so please use this video you know as you see best fit to to get around in, in eLearn all right and as you scroll down there's some other stuff about USC we know that you all are learning and teaching remotely this semester so we still wanted to give a little piece of USC into eLearn so you all you know just keep your focus so you have the core values it has the song and so on and at the end here you can you know access us via the social media links you could join us on facebook you could join usc twitter usc on linkedin and then our youtube page now you might be wondering well how do i access my course from the home page well it's important that you have this left panel here being displayed and there are two ways in which you can go to your courses you can either click on dashboard as i was saying here click dashboard on left to access your courses so this is the dashboard here you can click on that and you go to your courses or you can click on my courses as well it will go to your courses now if you're not seeing this left panel it could be because it's hidden so you just click on this hamburger menu here these three horizontal lines and that will toggle between showing or not showing the the left panel all right so that's how you access that. So it's pretty cool. So if I ask, if I click on the dashboard, you can see here, if I pull this menu out, it has the same resources that you saw on the homepage, the frequently asked questions, the center for student access and the Ford library. If you go to your quest to your course, so I'm going to a specific course again, if you pull this menu out, you can get these resources. So it's, it's always there at your fingertips, no matter where you are in the eLearn platform. So if you have a question, you can always click on this and get to that FAQ page. And if you want to go back home, you just click at the top here and you'll go back to the home page. Now this home page was specifically designed for those of you all who are using a laptop or a desktop computer. Now we have not forgotten the mobile users. In fact, we have the, a mobile app now that's going to be available. Um, we're going to be giving you all more information about how to install and use the app 
But for now, if you scroll to the bottom of the eLearn page, it says here, get the mobile app. If you click on get the mobile app, it will tell you how to download the mobile app via the app store. So if you have iOS devices or if you have Android devices, you'll be using Google Play. Now in this video here, I'm just giving you a quick overview of all the different things that are coming, but you're gonna get more information about them later on this week. So I'm just giving you all a quick look for your feedback and you'll get the, the details coming later. All right, so I'm just gonna give you a quick look of what the Moodle app looks like. So right there on my screen is my um, phone. So I'm using my an iOS device, an Apple iPhone. And I'm gonna click on the Moodle app that I've installed on my phone. And you can see the dashboard comes up with my different courses. If I scroll to the bottom here, it also has the FAQ links. It has the, the links to the Center of Student Success. And it has the link for the Ford Library. Above, it has my courses. So like, for instance, if I click on this course here, it will go to the course. All right, so as you can see, it, it's much better. It, it's, it's specifically designed for the mobile device. It gives you a better user experience. All right, if I went back at the top here, click on all sections, then I can navigate and choose which section I want to go to. It goes to that. So, so there's a lot of cool stuff there. And what's really, really cool about the mobile um, app is that you could actually work on Moodle offline. And then when you get back online, it automatically synchronizes and uploads all the stuff that you have done. So as I said, more details about that is going to be coming very, very soon. Also, the, the mobile app, um, it, it's, it doesn't have all the graphics and features of the full version of the desktop. So it means that it requires less bandwidth and it will load and move faster than the desktop version. Now you are free to move between the mobile app and the desktop version. You can use both of them or you could decide to use one. Um, it wouldn't affect how you do the course. All right, guys. And last but not least, I've included a link for you all to give us feedback because we have created this for you all, but we know we could always do better. So from your feedback, we're going to be improving the designs. It's just four simple questions. The first one is just identify if you're a student or a teacher. Then tell us what you like about the new e-learn design, what you don't like, and then give us recommendations how we can improve. And we're going to try our best to get that in there. Now the home page is already up and live. So if you just want to, if you're curious and you want to check it out, just log into Moodle and make sure on the left panel you choose home and you're going to be on that page. So you can check it out on your own, see if you like it or not. But if you're looking at this homepage, the best way to view it is using a desktop or a laptop computer. So guys, be safe and take care. And, and you know, I, I love to I, I love to hear your feedback. Bye bye.